The Mets are playing host to the Phillies as St. John's head basketball coach Chris Mullen, the Hall of Famer and New York native, is on hand to throw out the first pitch. Meanwhile, Matt Harvey makes the start for New York, and the Dark Knight looks sharp from the get-go. And Sweeney Ooh. goes down on the changeup. Oh, look at that curve. Great breaking ball to strike out Hernandez. Oh, my goodness. I was hoping we'd see this again. This is off the table. Boy, he's coming out sharp. Harvey kicks and deals. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. And Matt Harvey has struck out the side in the first inning. One to nothing Mets. Johnson at second with two men away. Tejano behind 0 and 2. Works it full. Here's the payoff pitch. Breaking ball looped in the air, shallow right towards the line. Brown overreaches out, can't get it. It's in for a hit, goes to the corner. Brown tumbles into the crowd. And so that means they've got to go out, and Hernandez chases the ball down to the warning track. Tejada rounds third. He's coming home. He will score sliding without a throw. It's an inside-the-park home run for Ruben Tejada. That's got to be the first home run I've ever seen that went 200 feet. And I don't even know that it went 200. That's when you know you're living right. That's, that's just unbelievable. It's two down for Michael Conforto. 2-0 is lifted down the left field line. It's deep. It's got a chance. Opposite field. Conforto home run. Up comes the apple. The Mets are rolling. It is six to nothing. This kid can hit. Mets lead 7-3. Sweeney started in left field, moved to right field when Dominic Brown came out. We're told now that Brown was removed for concussion concerns. Hit high, hit well right field. The breaking ball. Granderson back. He looks. This ball is going to go. And it's 7-4. It's getting dicey. So now a real test for Gilmartin, who's had success against Howard. Ground ball could be two. Nice. No tag, and they get the out at first, and the run comes in. Now they call for running out of the baseline. Yeah. It's a double play. Of course. Herrera called for running out of the baseline to avoid the tag, and the Mets get credit for the double play, and that keeps the run off the board. Driven to deep oh. left field. Forget that. Cespedes crashes one. That left the ballpark in about two seconds. And that appears to be the icing on the cake. Cespedes goes deep to make it 9-4 to four New York. The Mets improved to 21-9 since Cespedes entered the lineup on August 1st. The Mets also set a franchise record by beating the Phillies for the 14th time this season. And Matt Harvey gets the win. He goes 6-3 and, and allows four runs with nine strikeouts.